I want all of our viewers to know that Lisa has promised she's going to come back and do the noon show tomorrow if she wins tonight, right? Promise. You promised to come back. I yeah, promise. Yeah, I don't think Sarah buys that, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a, put a tag on uh, Lisa, make her come to work. All right, uh, weather-wise, obviously this is a different day than we've seen uh, this entire winter. Last winter we had a lot of days like this when it was windy, it was bitterly cold. Uh, but today is a little bit of an anomaly uh, so far in this winter of 2015-16. Uh, Here's the weather setup. we got high pressure in West Virginia, got low pressure up in New England. And between the two, we've got a strong west-northwest wind going. And that flow is coming right out of the southern part of Canada right now. So when we look upstream, you can see the temperatures that are flowing into the mid-Atlantic. It's below zero many parts of Canada right now. So at least temporarily our flow is coming from that direction. So it's going to stay cold tonight and into tomorrow morning. By Friday, things are going to change. It's going to get a little warmer as we head into the beginning of the weekend. Current temperatures are only in the 20s. Uh, the normal high is 41 right now. Uh, it's uh, 27 at the airport. It's 19 in Westminster, 26 in Rising Sun. The winds are still pretty strong out of the west at 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we can calculate some wind chills like we did at the top of the show. This is what it's going to feel like if you step out over the next couple of hours. Wind chill in Westminster is 8 at the present time. Feels like 12 in downtown Baltimore, but you can always say it could be worse, right? The wind chill in Oakland out in Western Maryland is 8 below zero at the top of the hour. At least there's some sunshine. Uh, we'll see a few high thin clouds develop as we head into the afternoon, but uh, don't expect any precipitation. Lake effect snow machines are still going to our north, but that'll all stay up in the Great Lakes. Now, as I mentioned, as we go towards the end of the week, things are going to get a little better for us. The jet stream is going to lift up into the southern part of Canada Friday. It might rain, but it's going to be warmer. But the cold air comes back pretty quickly behind that. We expect uh, maybe a chance for some snow again on Sunday to close the weekend. Forecast for this afternoon, mixture of sunshine and a few clouds, breezy, cold. The high temperatures will range between 28 and 33, but of course, it will feel much colder than that because of the wind. Seven day forecast looks like this going into the weekend. Uh, tomorrow, a few clouds come in, but it is going to be a touch warmer with a high near 45, but we'll start in the teens in the morning. On Friday, a chance for rain in the afternoon with highs in the upper 40s. Could be some leftover showers early Saturday. Our next chance for snow will be on Sunday. We're going to have to keep an eye on that right now. I'm just saying 40% chance for some light snow and a high near 35.